Ms. Elmar. Thank you, Chairman. Um, <clears throat> thank you all for being here and thank you for your uh, testimonies. Mr. Adams, in 1991, you pleaded guilty to two counts of withholding information from Congress regarding your involvement in the Iran Cortra affair, for which you were later pardoned by President George H.W. Bush. I fail to understand uh, why members of this committee or the American people should find any testimony that you give uh, today to be truthful. If I can respond to that. Uh, um, it wasn't a question. Uh, I was on an attack. That was it not, was that was not attack, a question. I that was the, I, I reserve the right I'm to sorry. my time. It is not, it is not right. That was Members not a question. The committee can attack on February a witness 8th, who is not permitted to reply. That, that was not a question. Thank you for your participation. On February 8th, 1982, you testified before the Senate Foreign Relations Committee about U.S. policy in El Salvador. In that hearing, you dismissed as communist propaganda report about the massacre of El Mosote, in which more than 800 civilians, including children as young as two years old, were brutally murdered by U.S. trained troops. During that massacre, some of those troops bragged about raping a 12-year-old girl before they killed them. Girls before they killed them. You later said that the U.S. policy in El Salvador was a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you still think so? From the day that President Duarte was elected in a free election to this day, El Salvador has been a democracy. That's a fabulous achievement. Yes or no, do you think that massacre was a fabulous achievement that happened under our watch? That is a ridiculous question, and I yes will Yes or no? No. I, I will sorry, Mr. I will Chairman, take that as a yes. I am not going to respond to that kind of personal attack, which is not a question. Yes or no, would you support an armed faction within Venezuela that engages in war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide, if you believe they were serving U.S. interest, as you did in Guatemala, El Salvador, and Nicaragua? I am not going to respond to that question. I'm sorry. I don't think this entire line of questioning is meant to be real questions, and so I will not reply. Whether you, under your watch, a genocide will take place, and you will look the other way because American interests were being upheld is a fair question because the American people want to know that anytime we engage a country, that we think about <clears throat> what our actions could be and how we believe our values are being farthered. That is my question. Will you? make sure that human rights are not violated and that we uphold international and human rights? I suppose there is a question in there, and the answer is that the entire thrust of American policy in Venezuela <clears throat> is to support the Venezuelan people's effort to restore democracy to their country. That's our policy. I don't think anybody disputes that. The question I had for you is that the interest, does the interest of the United States include protecting human rights and include protecting people against genocide? That is always the position of the United States. Thank you. I yield back my time. 